Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if you can hear the laundry in the back. We're doing some towels. We're a little bit backed up on the chores. Today is Friday. I normally get this video up on Friday, but since I was working all week, I worked out at night, thus why I couldn't get the video up today. Like all my other workout update videos, I'm gonna tell you guys what I did, kind of give you a little update on my body and how the week went, and then we'll get into the photos. I know you guys all just want to see the photos. But first, I wanted to address this comment I got on my Instagram, which is so funny. Like, I honestly, I don't, I'm not meaning to, like, address hate. I think it's personally, like, really funny. So if you guys, like, comment this, I don't mind because it's just one of those things I think it's funny. Someone said they have, like, zero followers. I think they just created this account to say this. There is no difference. Honestly, in these photos from last week to this week, there is no difference. I mean, there's a very slight difference that I can feel in my body and that my mom can see, but that's because she's my mom. Other than that, there really shouldn't be a drastic change because if you lose weight so fast, that's totally unhealthy. I just wanted to address that because I thought it was funny and it's true. There really isn't a huge difference, especially for the average person just looking at these photos. Starting off, it was Saturday and I did the 45 minute workout, which Saturday, I think that's the day that I, did I get back from my trip? I don't know, but it was close to when I got back from New York and I was really, really tired that day. Um, after the 45 minute workout, I convinced myself to do the abs, so I did the ab workout. The next day, Sunday the 23rd, I only did the 30 minute workout, which I'm doing right now, and I'm just talking to fill up some space in this video, so the b-roll kind of matches up with the talking. And then on Monday, I did the 15 minute workout plus the abs. I typically work out after I work at night because I am not a morning person guys like I can barely get up for work in itself so I'm definitely not getting up to work out I'd rather do it at night I'm still tired but I'm already awake it's not like I have to get myself awake to work out Tuesday is my day off so no footage there Wednesday I worked because it's a normal day that I work I did the 15 minute workout plus the abs and that was like a normal Wednesday that's my normal routine then on Thursday, I do not work out because it's my other day off. I love my days off, but then I can totally feel it when I get back into working out. I can feel when I haven't worked out. So that's probably why a lot of people like to stay consistent. And then Friday, today, I did the 30 minute workout, which I was like, oh my gosh, should I just do the 15? But I was like, no, I'll just do the 30. And I'll just push it because I want to, you know, kind of keep up with the longer workouts. And then I also did the ab workout because I was like, you know, Sherry, should I just do it? And she's like, yeah, just do it. I'm like, yeah, it's 10 minutes out of my life, not that long. So I just did it. The next part of this video, I like to cover kind of like my updates and what I've been feeling and eating. At the beginning of the week, Saturday, Sunday, and kind of Monday, like those three days, I felt so lethargic. I don't know why. Uh, I know traveling and when you're out of town, everything can really take a toll on you because you're in a new place. I was just so tired and that's why on Saturday, and Sunday, I just did one video, and I normally never do that. I hate doing that. You know, I didn't do any arms this week, which is crazy. You know, like, look at these things. <laughs> My mom's just staring at me. Look at you. Look at mama over there. She's just like a sack of potatoes. I didn't do any arm workouts. So I was just really, really tired. And I just felt like all the energy was like sucked out of me. Also, I was working out after work, which work for me, like I've said in the past videos, it's not physically demanding. Like I sit at a desk and then sometimes at events, I lift things like a fold up table and like a tent. But honestly, like that's not very physical labor. Um, probably when I was doing freelance and helping on like actual shoots, I was doing more physical activity, but my job now, I don't really do anything like that. But I still am tired when I get home from work. Like, it's still like, oh, I just want to sit on the couch and stuff. Uh, kind of like tonight, but I didn't. That's probably another reason why I didn't do a lot, a lot of workouts. But I wanted to keep consistent with my days and just doing something so my body doesn't like totally give out on me. I also wanted to talk about working out on an empty stomach makes me less hungry. So after I work out, 
I don't eat as much as what I found or I get full faster. I don't know if that's because like my abs are like more tight so it makes my stomach smaller. I have no idea. Maybe it's just a psychological thing. On Monday, <laughs> uh, your girl kind of had a little slip in the diet. Not that my diet's been great this whole week. Like, let's just be real. But Monday was the worst day. I'm just gonna insert the clip here. Okay, I'm just capturing this because your girl just bought a bag of salt and vinegar chips. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. Yeah, I just got done working out and I haven't missed a day of working out. So I feel like that's why I'm just like treating myself because it's been hard this week, especially being Monday. I work today. Not that my work is like physically demanding, like don't get the wrong impression. Like I sit at a desk, but like when I get home, it's evening time. So I just want to like sit down and stuff. So I grabbed myself a bag of salt and vinegar chips on my way home. And I also got myself some Funyuns at work, but I didn't eat them because I was pretty busy. So I kind of got distracted. So I was like, since I was so good and I didn't eat them, they're in my desk drawer, literally. I got myself this whole bag. I know it's not good, not good at all, but I've just been like not motivated at all but I haven't given up because we gotta stay strong and it's like my reward for keeping up the exercising. And yeah, I know it doesn't mean I'm gonna lose weight because I'm gonna consume everything I just worked off. I understand that, but it's more like the mentality of like, you know, just do it and then you get rewarded. <sighs> I don't know. It's just one of those things, guys. Guys, don't forget, there's no excuses for things, but it's okay to do certain things that probably aren't the best decisions. As long as you're not hurting anyone, yourself, or like being negative, then it's okay. It's okay. So as you can see, I had some salt and vinegar chips. Also too, speaking about diet and whatnot, I get a lot of like treats at work. So when I say treats, it's not necessarily like chocolate. I mean, sometimes it's chocolate and cookies and everything. Like today they had insomnia cookies, but I did not have one. I did have Funyuns though, because it's Friday and I worked. So I treated myself, but on Wednesday, we had our um, meeting that's always catered. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna eat at the meetings, so that was definitely a very big-ish slip in my diet. I had like a Rice Krispie Tree, a brownie, and a cookie, because those things are just so good. And then I had some bread. Also, my foot stopped hurting, so I'm really happy about that. I was getting a little worried because the workouts were getting hard to do with my foot hurting um, because you're like jumping and everything and like there's a specific spot in my foot that it was hurting but luckily I think it's all fixed now and I'm not in any pain when I do the workout so we're all good here. So how I'm feeling in my body currently, to be honest, not that different. My lower stomach is still kind of like pudgy but the weird thing is guys like I can feel my abs like once I lose this like thermal layer of fat, I'm gonna be like intensely strong. At least I'll look more strong like on the outside because on the inside, like I feel it. Is that weird to say? I don't know. But um, it's just, it's always been like really stubborn for me to lose. So like I'm being realistic, probably not gonna lose it until like I cut carbs like strictly. I think the thing I wanted to end on for the updates today was the first night I felt like I had more energy back, like my normal energy from my trip. I was just so, like I said earlier, very tired, lethargic is the best word I could put in that. Um, but now I'm feeling back to myself and my energy. So the exercises were a little bit easier. Every time I take that day off, my Tuesdays and Thursdays off, the next day it's always so much harder. So I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head, but. Now moving on to the real reason you are here to see the pictures. So here are the pictures. This is my front view. On the left is Alex last week. On the right is Alex this week. Honestly, I cannot believe this is week six. Can you believe it guys? I, that's just insane. Now this is the side view. Alex last week on the left and Alex now on the right. It's so weird and I really wanted to address this because, okay, so it doesn't really look like I made any progress, especially maybe I picked the wrong side. You're looking right now at my left side and my camera is being held with my right arm. So you're seeing my left side holding the camera with my right arm. 
Okay, so it doesn't look any different, okay? It looks like normal, like nothing's changed. But look at this, guys. When I switch the camera and you're looking at my right side of my body and I'm holding the camera with my right side and I'm like posing in this specific location, not location, but like pose, you can see a huge difference. Like I look so much better like this. I have no idea why. I think maybe I just picked the bad side to show each week for my updates. But let me tell you, I look good on the right side with like this pose. I don't know, maybe like everyone's body is uneven. So maybe like my right side is just more fit than my left side. Because I can tell you like my fat roll on the left side is a little bit bigger than the right side, which is weird, but it's totally normal. So maybe I should start taking my pictures on the right side, but then you can't really see a difference. So, you know, I just wanted to bring that up here. And here are the pictures before I even started working out. So Alex pre-working out on the left and Alex now on the right. I always love looking at these because I do see a huge difference. And then this is the side view of that. So non-working out Alex on the left and now Alex on the right. I really like these and I do see a huge difference, so it keeps me motivated. Hope you guys like these updates. Let me know down below if you can see a difference. I completely, I'm not offended if you can't see a difference. I'm honestly doing these videos for you guys, if you guys are on this journey, but mostly for me to hold myself accountable and to just kind of document this because I like to, because I like documenting my life and it holds me accountable. So I know like I gotta work out because I need to film this and it just like keeps me motivated and I like seeing the results. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.